Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create an awesome particle dispersion effect in Adobe Photoshop. So I've loaded a photo of an athlete jumping into Adobe Photoshop and I've already cut her out onto a transparent background. So you can do this a number of ways with your image. You can use the magic wand tool, you can use the eraser tool. And once you have them cut out onto a transparent background, what we're going to do first is just right click our athlete layer and just select duplicate layer. Then we're going to go up to filter and down to liquify. So with the liquify option selected or forward warp tool, that's the top left option. Just zoom in a bit, make sure you have a nice big brush and we're just going to left click and drag and just warp our athlete and just stretch out the body. So this is where we're going to have the particle effect running. Remember you can use the left and right square brackets to quickly and easily decrease and increase the size of your brush. And this might look a little bit strange but it will all make sense I promise. Bear with me. So, <laughs> very, very peculiar. So let's just keep warping this, or warp the arms, maybe a little bit of the knee there, and some of the fingers. Okay, so, pretty strange. If you click OK, and we're just going to drag this layer underneath. So let's just call this particles. Now what we're going to do is hold down the Alt key and select Add New Layer Mask and it will create a new layer mask that is filled with black. But first we need to create our particle dispersion brush. So let's create a new layer at the very, very top. Zoom in. Select black as your foreground color. Select the square tool and just left click anywhere on the canvas. Now create a square with a width and height of 60 pixels and then hold Command or Control and left click on the square in the Layers palette. Now you'll see the marching ants appear, indicating that this is selected. And then you can go up to Edit, down to Define Brush Preset. And we're just going to call this Square. And once you've done that, you can deselect the square and then you can delete that layer altogether. Let's just create a new layer select your brush tool and the preset that you've created should now be at the bottom. So we've now created a square. And if I just bring my flow up to 100%, so everything is at 100%, black is my color, this is my new brush. So that's a start. Let's go over here to our brush palette what we're going to do is select shape dynamics. Now there's a few options we can play around with here. You see we can adjust the angle jitter, the scattering, so we're going to increase this. So when we create and drag with our brush we want our particles to be as scattered as they can. In shape dynamics you can adjust the size jitter so that's the variation between the different shapes. So we can adjust this a bit. Let's bring this up to 50. Lots of other sliders here. We're going to change the angle jitter control to direction. So the direction that we drag in is going to relate to the angle that the, the particle shapes are displayed. And we've also got some other options here like brush projection. So you can see that just randomizes it a little bit more. So there's lots of other settings you can play with and you can adjust these settings as you're actually creating your particle effect as well. And you can also adjust the spacing here. So that's on the main brush tip shape menu. So here it's very, very clumped together and we can really spread that out a little bit. And again, you can adjust this as you're adding the particle effect. So on layer one, let's just left click and drag and we can see how our 
brush particle effect looks. And we can quickly decrease and increase the size using the left brackets to make it nice and small as well. So we're going to be using this a lot when we create our particle effect. So once you have your brush that you're happy with, we can delete layer one, left click on our particles layer mask, zoom in, and with white as your foreground color and your brush tool selected, just left click and we're going to start adding the particle effect to our image. So personally, I find this much easier using a graphics tablet, but you can do this with a mouse as well. So the, the effect that we're trying to create is that our athlete is landing from a jump. And these are the particles that are coming off of her. So just left clicking, lots of left clicking and dragging. Remember, you can increase and decrease the size of the brush as well. And you can press X to switch your foreground and background color. So we can paint into the mask here and then we can remove from it as well. Just swapping the black and white. So most of this part of the process is going to be swapping the black and white in your color picker and using the left and right square brackets to adjust the brush size as you move around the image. So we're going to get a few, see a few larger ones in here, just so they're not all the same size. And you can hold shift and left click on the layer mask to hide it. So I'm just going to remove a few more here. Just keep that a little bit closer to the leg. And we'll just have a few coming off the knee as well. Do a few larger ones around the hair and maybe some larger ones here as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to hold shift and deselect the mask for a moment, select the particles layer and go to filter, liquefy and just liquefy that a little bit more, particularly around the back area. I want to just bring this out. Maybe a bit more on the hair, a little bit more on the foot and the leg. And click OK. So now what I'm able to do is whereas certain points around here and around the leg, they were starting to fade as we were approaching the edge. We can now take this out a little further. And as well as left clicking and dragging, you can do a lot of that. You can also single left click just to get some of the smaller particles. Okay, maybe just a few more down here. So we've got some trailing off of the shoe. And remember, if you do make any mistakes, you can go up to edit and then go step backwards. And that's a handy shortcut key to learn as well. So there we go, not looking too bad. So now let's select our athlete layer, add a new layer mask. Now this layer mask is going to be white, select black as your foreground color and with the same brush effect, we're going to do the same, but we're going to cut in to the athlete slightly. So whereas previously we were adding to extend our athlete, with lots of particles, we're now going to cut into the athlete. Now the reason we do this is just so it runs both ways, so the particles are pieces of the athlete that are coming off of her. 
So that's the effect that we're trying to simulate here. So just move around the edge, just left clicking and dragging. Remember you can go back into the brush palette and adjust effects like the shape dynamics and the scattering. What I'm actually going to try and do is just move this layer up a little bit. The main reason for that is just so the blue from her clothing runs into this blur here, whereas before it was a bit further down. So we want it to look like it's extending, like these particles are coming off. So it kind of needs to line up as best you can. And where I've moved that, I'm just going to go back in now and just fill in some of that hair. And just fill that back in around here. Let's get some slightly larger ones back in. And just a few more. on the main part of the body. So again, this is very much a combination of left clicking and dragging, and then also adding in some single left clicks with a nice, nice amount of scatter on the brush, just to really add some smaller details on these tips. You see here, just adding a few smaller particles as you get further out, trying to keep the larger particles closer to the body where possible. Let's just finish off a little bit more of the hair. So I'm just left clicking and dragging to remove the larger areas of black hair and then just single left clicking just to add in a few in places. And there we go, we've created an awesome particle dispersion effect in Adobe Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.